Greetings everybody, I am BrianD0313 and today we are starting a new Let's Play series, Final Fantasy V. Many people might be wondering, why am I doing Final Fantasy V? I'm not even a, that big of a Final Fantasy fan. I'm, as some of you people know, I'm a Dragon Warrior fan, Dragon Quest fan. But I've been playing this game, just started playing it a couple of days ago, thanks to uh, Thomas Style 25 Make sure you check out his channel. Started watching his LP, kind of got hooked to the game, mainly because of the class system. Usually games with class systems I enjoy. So I decided to give this game a try. Watched a couple videos, read some documents, and I think I'm ready to let's play it. First couple episodes, we'll see how things go. I still need to learn how to do, uh... Do let's plays with uh, role playing games because in these kind of games you got to uh, cut out random battles. I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. So, instead of move on, we already saw the introduction, in uh, the intro video. No dialogue, of course, it's just intro video. So we got, we're at a castle, we got uh, Dolbez there from Final Fantasy IV, somehow he survived, came back from L Lunaria, and we got a dragon, a pet dragon, and it makes a cute noise, Oh, isn't that a cute dragon, and who is that might you ask, father, do you really have to go, Runa, you need to protect the castle, you mustn't, is that a word? <laughs> Must have followed me. But, Father, something about the... Something about the wind bothers me. I must go check the crystal at the wind shrine. Yes. Yes, I can feel it too. But by yourself. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I got a dragon. A flying dragon. The music in this game is just awesome. And we fly. I don't think there's any dialogue, so let's fly away. And we got some pirates, and they're all wearing purple. They must be flaming pirates. And we got the captain, who is also flaming with pink, he purple hair. Pink hair, purple hair. Now just watch the hair, watch. And the hair stops flowing. Watch out. The wind stopped. The wind stopped. And we got this old man. Looks like he, uh, his life has come to an end. The wind stopped. The wind stopped. I must hurry. And we're back to Lena. The wind! Has something happened? Father! Game's kind of corny, but hey, it's a fun game. And there we have the wind crystal. What? What's that in the background? What's going on? And it dies. Well, the wind crystal's gone. No more wind. Screw you, Mother Nature. And we come to a chocobo on the right, a fire in the middle, and some uh, random guy just chilling out in the forest, roasting some marshmallows. And the chocobo is doing head nodding, head bobbing. He's a rocker, rocking chocobo. Do to do anything? Any dialogue? Oh, there we go. And a meteor, a meteor comes falling from the sky. It's the end of the world. And the crash lands over here. Where exactly? I don't know. Might have to turn down the volume a little bit. Hop onto our Chodobo. Chodobo takes his shit onto the fire and he runs away. Bye bye, Chodobo. And now we get, get to uh, control the Chodobo and we're in the force. Let's try to move on. Let's head over to the east and there's that uh, asteroid. Meteor. Go to here. Meteor right, meteor wrong. Meteor at Tycoon. What kind of name is a castle for Tycoon? Boto, wait here. No noise? Okay. So, let's just move on. I guess we, we're going to be controlling this guy. I guess he's our uh, protagonist. Weird looking trees. 
So we're over here, and what? What's going on? It's Lena. But who are those guys? And we're attacked. Surrounded. Goblins. And our hero is named Question Mark. Interesting name. Pretty cool bat, uh, rush music, like, uh, that if you're on time limit, it's pretty cool music. Victory, 20 deals, 6 experience points. Level up, baby. Nina! You okay? Okay, sorry about that. We're back. Are, are you okay? Yes, yes! Uh, which button do I press? <laughs> Is it running? Oh, I gotta go back to, uh, here. Right? Yes. Y yes Thank you very much for helping me. I'm Nina, and you? I'm... I'm... I don't know who I am. I'm an idiot. And the worst protagonist name ever in a video game. Butts. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this is the uh, fan translation for, uh, for the, uh, for, for the, uh, this is the English fan translation. So his name is Butts. Uh, go back. We're gonna name him Zero. And there we go. Zero is our name. I am Zero. Journeying with the children will no to nowhere in particular. I'm just a freelancer. Zero? This thing suddenly, suddenly came falling from the sky. The blast sent me flying and I fell unconscious. Last I checked, you were on top of the, uh, top of the castle. Wait, you're like not from the top? Shouldn't you be like dead? Well then again, it is a role playing game. Usually we can survive falls of imminent doom. Is it a meteor? A meteor? Might it have something to do with the wind stopping? Probably. Who knows? And she gives us a head nod to. Thank you so much. I wish I could repay you, but I must hurry. Bye bye. Hey, wait a sec. You want to make out? Did you hear something? Huh? No, I didn't hear anything. If you're a little bit scared, just come a little bit closer, Lena. Yeah, come here. Hold on to me. Lord. And we get cool little question marks. Uh, help. What? What's going on? It's coming from over there. Let's go check it out. But first, we're going to go down here, I believe. Uh... Treasure chest. We're going to turn off the background layers just to show the path for it. If I can figure out which one it is, there it is. So go up here, and this is the pathway to get to the uh, treasure chest. We picked up a phoenix now. Phoenix downs are used to uh, bring someone back from the death. And it's, uh, it's a guy from earlier. I don't think we know his name yet. Are you alright? Where am I? Oh, my head. Next to a meteor. Where do you think you are? What? What's with me? I can't remember. I can't remember a thing. It's time late. I can't really do too many, too many emotion, emotions, emotions, whatever you call them. You hit your head. Is it amnesia? Yeah, this isn't how amnesia works, from what I heard. Ah, uh, that's right. My name's Galuf. So, apparently he does remember some things. Maybe he's leading us on. Maybe he is, like, the culprit to everything. Maybe he is the antagonist. Anything else? No. I can't remember anything else besides my name. I think I'm going to do like a William Shatner kind of uh, speech, speech impediment. Maybe 
Maybe I'll record these on the weekend, on the weekend at night, so that I uh, can do it in, in my basement where I won't get bothered. I'm really very sorry, but I have to hurry. Where are you? Uh, where where are you going? Is that a typo? I don't know. The Wind Shrine. And Gallo starts bouncing around. The Wind Shrine. I have a feeling that's where I need to go too. Sure, follow the hot girl. The hot pink haired girl. Sure, that's where you need to go, Dallas. Pedophile. I'll go with you. But, you're too old for me. Let me show you something. I must go. Please take me with you. And Zero just stay stands right there watching. Zero, Zero, what about you? I'll continue my journey. Screw you people, I don't care about the Wind Shrine. Fuck it. I hope the world comes to an end. I plan on burning a lot of stuff, wasting electricity, you know. Zero, thank you so much, goodbye. Farewell. And they walk off. She turns around, just says, look, and they go. We head down, and they just disappear on us. Check out the asteroid, nothing in particular. So let's go back to find our turbo. And there's pass the passage right there. This game is pretty fun, in my opinion. It does have a, a job class system, which we'll go over soon enough. Hello, Mr. Chocobo. Let's go. Did you mean noise? Nope. And we run off. So we can't get by the meteor. It's kind of blocking our path. So we'll head left. West. Up. And what's going on? Aw, oh, come on, Boko. Why must you do that? Now I have a headache. Ouch. Boko, don't stop so suddenly. I will not give you any treats. Why are you giving me that look? Walk, walk, walk. And he jumps. <sighs> I know, it's an old man and a girl. And there are lots of goblins around. Got it, Boko. Let's go help them out. Maybe we can get some action from the little girl. Oh, what's going on? Uh oh. Looks like we're going to die. Eek! Arrgh! Gallop, Nina! Let's hurry! Walk! Uh oh. Goblins! Take the shit out of these guys. Once again, we get the, the uh, cool music. It's not the battle music, it's just uh, some uh, music you'll hear when we when we have a time predi uh, predicament. 20 gills, 6 experience points, 0 gains level. Stats. He can equip everything. Cool, huh? Next level, 21 experience points. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jump! Jump, Boko! Jump! Nina and Gallif. They're dead. We've got more goblins to fight. These are quick, so I won't be editing them out. Die. Step. Stupid goblins. What is a goblin, anyway? 20 gil, 60 experience points. Hmm, apparently we'd have fit three people onto a chocobo. And we head north, jump. <sighs> Lena, why are you moaning? What's the chocobo doing to you? What did Gallop do to you? How the hell did Bart get up there? And he jumps from a very tall height. That's probably three stories tall. Acrobatic, huh? Hey! Zero! And we get some sad music. Thank you so very much. Aw, oh, shark, stop that, Lena. You know, you could repay me, though. Maybe a hand job later on? No? Yes? Maybe? Don't look at me that way. 
The meteor shot collapsed cliffs and made the ground split. Damn that meteor. And now the road to tools been blocked. Tules. Tools. So we're trying to get the tools now we can't because it's been blocked. Not cool. How do we get the tools now? But I have to get to the wind shrine. Ugh. Guess he's still uh, playing with himself over there. Damn you, Gallop. To the wind shrine. Got to hurry to the wind shrine. This old geezer too. Eh, he'll probably die soon enough of old age. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go with you. I want to see the world. Get some action. What? Really? Shouldn't that be like a question, exclamation mark kind of thing? My dad, he said for me to travel the world and see things. See boobies. And besides, the wind is calling. It is. But there is no wind, so how do we hear the wind call? Say what you want, but but is it the truth that you just want to be with this girl? Shh, Gallif! Don't be, uh, messing around with my master plan. Hey, you were awake? Of course I was. I'm Gallif. I might accidentally call him Gandalf sooner or later. <laughs> ha ha ha. I am that cool. But the road has been blocked. What will we do? Da 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 da. Aww. But we must go. Yeah. Well then, let's go. Okay, we nod to each other, Boto. We nod to the Boto, the Chocobo. And we'll head north, north, north. I don't think we could be attacked while on the Chocobo. So, we reach, we, we, uh, reach the cave. But we'll have to explore this cave next time. This has been Brian D0313 saying see ya and have a good day, folks.